When you're scoring a film and you've decided what themes you need to write, whether they be attributed to characters or objects or ideas, sometimes inspiration flows and you get ideas freely, in which case you should just go for it and write those ideas. Other times, though, inspiration might not come right away. So one trick I've found useful is if I look at the, the things that I'm going to write themes for and kind of brainstorm attributes of them. So for example, if I'm uh, scoring uh, a movie with themes for characters, I will look at those characters and just basically make a list of adjectives for those characters. And then I'll think about, okay, what musical gestures um, may evoke those adjectives. So an example is from a film that I scored, an animated film, where there was a, uh, a little squirrel. This was a quirky little character, a little bit neurotic, but he was a good guy, um, and he actually ended up kind of being the hero of the story. So the squirrel is little, so I decided I would write uh, music fairly high, melodically above middle C, to, to evoke his smallness. His energy was fairly high, so my rhythmic content was um, fairly high energy. And also, given his quirkiness, I decided to write syncopated rhythms. And then also for his quirkiness, I looked for uh, a scale that would evoke this. And I found that uh, the scale Lydian flat 7 is a scale that often um, can create a sort of quirkiness. So that's this scale here. It's not the only choice that a person could make for a quirky sound, but that's what I chose for him. So I started with accompaniment material that was like this. So these sounds, I felt, evoked the quirkiness I wanted uh, through the intervallic material I found in the scale. And then as I looked at the question of melody, again, I used a syncopated rhythm, and I accentuated what makes Lydian flat 7 sound the way it does. So we have... So together we get... So contrasting the quirky squirrel is a, a character from another animated work where there was a, a character that was basically a large tree character. So this was a, a speaking tree that was a kind of timeless character that had seen the ages and had wisdom and, and a little bit of sadness. So what I started with was to say, okay, this is a deeply rooted character, literally rooted and kind of figuratively rooted. So I started with this low triad voicing. It felt like that was really rooted in the ground, this open triad that creates a feeling of depth. And then, given the sort of wisdom and, and sadness of the character, I felt that the mode of Mixolydian, uh, with its five minor chord, uh, helps evoke both wisdom and introspection and maybe a little bit of sadness. So just that little chord progression helped me create the feelings of rootedness and kind of calmness and introspection mixed with a little bit of sadness. And so then melodically, I, I just moved kind of with um, calmness through these. And that was really all I needed for that wise old tree. So you can see, by brainstorming adjectives and then searching for musical equivalences, you can end up with lots of different results that will hopefully work for the themes you're trying to write.